Hey beer people, what's up y'all? Whiskey Brothers here tonight, or today rather, and we have a special episode going. We, we're down here at Conquest with Joseph and Matt. Um, how about y'all just go ahead and let us know what we're doing here, man. What, what's the Whiskey Brothers doing out here? Well, we are releasing our first anniversary beer today. It's a 17.5% Imperial Stout called The Finisher. Um, the Finisher is actually this painting behind us as well. It's named after a song by the metalcore band O Sleeper, so we've been listening to metalcore all day, Beautiful. of course, which is great. Um, but yeah, it's uh, brewed with honey and brown sugar. Um, it's a pretty massive beer um, and uh, kind of our once a year release for our anniversary. Um, we're going to do it in, and hopefully next year we'll actually have a barrel aged version. So, um, nice. But yeah, once a year release is kind of our, kind of our birthday present here to, to everybody and to ourselves. Yeah, yeah, right. Great. And uh, <laughs> it's January and it's, uh, it's pretty <laughs> cold out right now. Yeah, yeah. It's freezing. <laughs> so, There's no so. need to put your beer in the uh, cooler. No, no. <laughs> so, so is there anything you know, special y'all did or, or, or any memorable brewing moments about this or, you know? Just the history of it. Uh, Homebrewing together, uh, which we did for years before we started this, um, we wanted to make a big beer. But we started talking about okay, what can we make, how big a beer can we make, and what, what we want to model this after. There's no defined style that really covers what we're doing. So where are you getting your big flavor from? Like, like, like when we taste it, what, what's going to be big about the flavor? It's going to be like real. Well, malty, real high, like, you know what? Very what, malty, what, roasty, uh, but there's sweetness in there. You get a little bit from the honey. Okay. A little bit of that honey character. Yeah, we actually put more um, more sugar in the beer, uh, the honey and brown sugar, than even the champagne yeast can ferment. So it does sweeten it up and give it some of the honey, actually, uh, honey characteristics in the beer. A lot of times when you add honey, it just ferments completely out, and there's only a subtle hint, but you can actually taste the honey in this one. Um, the uh, the history of the beer actually um, started back in, uh, I guess, 2007 um, when we were first getting into first getting into um, you know craft beers. Um, besides brewing, I mean, we've been brewing oh, okay. for a while, but yeah. really getting into like the rare beers and things. Um, there's a beer called Dark Lord by Three Floyds, which I'm sure you've right. probably heard of. Um, it uh, it kind of inspired us. Um, because uh, we went to Dark Lord Day, uh, Dark Lord Day 2008. We went together. We bought I don't even know 16 bottles or something. Wow. And um, and uh, and really just kind of fell in love with that beer because it was uh, it's just huge and thick and sweet and roasty and just all these um, all these great attributes that we really enjoyed. Um, you know, what's the point? None of us is ever going to brew a Dark Lord. Well, well, look at you now. We brewed the opposite. Um, the uh, the Dark Lord, you know, obviously could be uh, could be the Dark Forces. Um, the finisher is Jesus. Nice. So, the finisher yeah. is so, Jesus. So it's the, it's the other, it's the, other uh, the other end of the spectrum. Nice. And if you read the read the song by O Sleeper, it's actually yeah. the, the reason he's angry is, is because Jesus it is Jesus at the end of time and he's destroying. Him. Oh, okay. oh and so, wow! And it was crazy. My Satan mother, hell, my mother so actually saw yeah. that, that, that that picture and she's like, "Oh my God, that's evil Jesus! That's evil Jesus! No, no. I hope that's not Christ." I'm like, oh, "I'm sure there's a good story well, behind he's, it." He's know? angry. He's it's, angry at yeah. Satan. That's yeah, what it is. Exactly right. So I, I I hate to be kind of a spoiler, but I did hear you know people talking out in the parking lot about. Basically, this tastes like mother's milk. I mean, it's, it's like it's supposed mother's to be like milk. like wow. like amazing. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, like I, fresh out the teeth. You I know? haven't had any mother's milk lately. <laughs> yeah. Well, well just know, see. man. Like you guys only did 400 of these, and we were fortunate enough to be here this morning to help out with the process. The waxing was pretty badass. Yeah, it was, so, it was, uh, it was a fun experience. It was a great. Sure. Yeah, yeah. I'm, so I'm very proud to be part of it. And and, and only being 400, super limited release if you think about it. Yeah. And I know you guys are gonna go through all 400 today, easy. Oh, yeah. yeah. If, if so, not already. I mean, yeah, yeah, yeah. If not already. I mean, yeah. People are lining up, and and this would be perfect spot where you're gonna see the clips. So you know, people are lining up outside. We got food out there. You know what I'm saying? They 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 serve breakfast for everybody, which is awesome. You know, they even did a, a cool little bottle share. You know, well, beyond the limits. But, you know, there was a cool bottle share out there. I mean, it was really a good time. And, and I think I, I'm excited about the beer. Hopefully, it's as cool as the event's been so yeah. far, you know. Um, and on a side note, man, you picked up in a addition to the beer, man. check out this badass shirt. Look at that. It's got, it's got Angry Jesus on it. <laughs> it's got the finisher on it, man. It's got Conquest's one year anniversary. So, these you could probably still pick up. Hopefully, by the time you watch this video, 
Now this, if you have a grabbed one, I tell you get one, but you're probably not gonna be able to. But next one. year, next so, year. So yeah, that's what this right. video is for. So so next year you're gonna know. All right, we gotta be there. Better know. Save the day. And we gotta save the day. You gotta try the finisher. You know what I'm saying? Try some of that Jesus beer. So uh, let's go ahead and pop this, man. I'm really excited to try it. You're gonna pop it, man. Oh no, I got it. Oh, I hear it. Up, up, up. Uh, uh, uh. Uh. Cool. <laughs> yeah. Oh. It does. The finisher it does might, might. The wax makes the difference. <laughs> it might finish your patience I'll tell before you, you open it. Lordy. Oh wow, man, that is thick. It ain't thin, that's for sure. That is thick. Oh man. Oh, wow. Here, yeah, we just want to make sure we, we got enough make to sure go around. Fair, man. Yeah. Oh, that is some thick stuff, man. Oh wow. It's got a great it's nose. Like hose. Yeah. No. <laughs> does, this does not smell like hose, <laughs> but I can smell the alcohol, you know? Yeah, it does smell like some people are strong. Oh. Yeah. Oh, it's it's got nice, strong. nice glass lacing. Oh, it's really like uh, it really one finger head. Stains it. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, no, it just stains the glass. Good lord, man. All right. I'm going to have to brush my teeth after this one. <laughs> but let's go ahead and just try it, man. You yeah, know? let's yeah. do this. Cheers. Cheers. Yeah. Oh my god. It's oh man. Alright, this is mother's milk, alright? I don't know I don't know what teeth it's, you it's found sweet. to squeeze this out of, you know, and I don't know if you squeeze each other's teeth, but I'm just saying it's good, man. It's That's sweet wow. like a teeth, man. It is sweet it is. like a teeth. Wow. That is um it's very much like, yeah, yeah, like, yeah, like, like not, not in any bad way at all, but it's even better than I thought it was. You know what I'm saying? Like um It's, it's so weird different. you could smell the alcohol, but you can't taste really it. Taste. Yeah. It's very well masked. And I think, like you said, with the sugar, you, you could really... Yeah, that's dangerous. Yeah. So, so, so now tasting it, which I'm sure you tasted plenty, but now, now tasting it, do you kind of see a reflection of what you tried to get out of it, or...? Oh, definitely. Definitely. That's perfect. Yeah. I just can't wait to bear it. Yes. Oh, yes. <laughs> and that's the thing, too, is like, I know a lot of people had mentioned, you know, we were talking to a lot of people, they're gonna take this home and they were Seller it. Seller it, yeah. Oh. Yeah, for, I heard you earlier talking about like about two years we ago. We had it a couple years old um, when we first brewed it. We first yeah. brewed it on a small So when was, when was the first time y'all y'all brewed it? Was it before you were officially Conquest or? Oh yeah, oh yeah. Long so like so y'all just been, so y'all been brewing together, you know, for a while. Decade. Yeah, um, yeah, almost 10 years. Nice. Oh, sweet. Better, yeah. So the first time you do this, you did like a five gallon batch? Or? Yep, okay. five gallon batch. That's kind of where we're at right now. Four, it ended up 4.32. 4. Oh, wow. Damn, that's, that's, a, that's, a, that's a hell of a measurement. See, that, that's why you can trust these guys' beer. I mean, they, yeah. they know it was 4. Point, what, two, six something. <laughs> that, 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 is, that is on yeah. point. Because I'll tell you, like, I'm sure we were under five. But we were under five. Yeah, five. You know, yeah, yeah. So yeah. that's good, that's good. And it drinks more like a port. Like it does. Port. It reminds me of like a port wine. It pushes the, pushes the boundary of beer. It's like an after dinner beer, man. It is, man. Yeah. And, the, and the mouth feels really nice. It's not... And what's cool, just drinking a granite, I've only had a few sips, but it's not very filling thus far. Like, you know, like, like a lot it's of... It's not heavy. Yeah. But it, it hasn't got obnoxious, like, on um, my stomach yet, you know, which is nice. I, I can definitely, like, sit back and drink it. I'm sure I'm not going to kick down the whole 22 ounce, but... <laughs> I wouldn't you recommend... You know, yeah, you know, because then I will be finished by... I would <laughs> recommend splitting it with other people. It's nice. So, so um, way to go, man. Yeah, yeah definitely. It's awesome. That's an amazing job. Awesome brew, man. It's it a cool event. The 22nd of February. February. Revival in Charleston. They're gonna have what you said, a special cherry chocolate, chocolate Brutus. cherry Brutus, chocolate, chocolate cherry Brutus, Brutus, which 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 earlier I had the chocolate cherry and it was good, and I had the Brutus and it was good. So so finding the little hybrid of that has been pretty awesome as well. And on a side note, I know you guys also have a Randall now, so you need to come down here, check out the new special nights. You guys run anything through the Randall? Yeah, right? and we do them pretty frequently. Oh, all right, man. Well, we well, thank y'all so much, man. We appreciate thank it. Yeah, for yeah. Us. And y'all keep a lookout, man. Come out and see us. You know, see them and see us, because we'll be here, you know, as frequently as we can. So, maybe you'll learn something, maybe you won't. <laughs>